Hello, I'm Alex for Studios. We're going to check out the LG V12. It's an amazing phone, and let's check it out. So, when we look in the hardware side of things, we have two flashlights, two cameras, a second screen on the top. The second screen is meant for using when your phone's not on. So if you get a notification, you just check the second screen. It's also meant to save power. If you want to save power, you can just check the second screen instead of turning your main display on. It has a fingerprint sensor in the back, and that's also where the home button is. One camera is super close, and one camera does super far out. So let's check the official review right here. So here's the official review. I said the specs before, and those are the specs. Very powerful phone, I'll tell you that. Um, it's one of the best phones. It's my second favorite phone. So this display right here is meant to use when your phone's off. So if you get a notification, it'll display right here. Now you're like, how does this say power? How does this say power? Well, the thing is, if you get a notification, every single time you get a notification, it turns on your phone. And that just wastes all the power. Usually the screen stays on for like six seconds. But instead, it'll pop up right here and it'll save your phone power. Plus, if you want to know what time it is, date, or battery, boom, it's right there. Button sides of things. This is kind of like the Google Pixel. This is the buttons right here. And there's, it's also a fingerprint sensor. See, if I swipe to unlock, you can, un you can use your fingerprint. The power buttons are right here. And if you want to open up the phone, you hold down this button and slide out the battery. On the camera side of things, this one does out. I mean, inwards. Like, look at how close that thing looks. But if you zoom out, if you zoom in, or if you zoom out, it will use this camera right here. So this is camera one. Very close. Look, look how close that thing looks. Camera two looks so far. Look, look how far. There's my hand here. And look how close. So it has very nice cameras, and this has the best quality. In fact, I will record a little test clip. Even it actually has uses for it, like settings, clock, drawing, racing, and folders. It's a very nice screen. We use for very nice thing. Face cam. Very face cam is just as good. See, it's the camera. Uh, it, I don't think you can. No, you can't zoom. But it's a good face cam, just as good. I, yeah, I like the face cam. I think it only has one camera though, but for the face cam, but it has two flashlights. If you can see that, let me zoom in there for you. It has two flashlights, what makes it extra bright. Here, let me go turn off the lights, and I'll show you how good this light is. Oh, so I turned off the lights. Uh, it's raining, so I can't use the window. I can close the curtains, but this is how bright the flashlight is. So, flashlight. So you can see right here, there's two flashlights. It focuses. There's one here. There's two of them. And I'll show you how bright this is. In fact, I'll go in the bathroom and show you. Here's the flashlight in the bathroom. And this is how much room it covers. The whole room covers the whole thing. Look at that. The whole thing. It's a very bright flashlight. I love it. So the display is humongous. It's like almost like basically six inches. I was the specs earlier and how powerful this phone is. It's a very nice phone. Uh, I wish it done better in the past. But it's a very nice phone. I there's more. I'm going to show you the camera footage. This phone is has a, probably a better camera than my video camera. Gosh, guys, this thing has vivid colors. So right now we're using the zoom lens. This lens is closer to things. It's amazing. Look at how good everything looks. Look at my computer. It looks so real. Like, look at this. My monitors. Let's see how good this is.
Yep, that's quick too. It's quick autofocus. The camera is amazing. Here's zooming. Uh, I want to use the zoom camera. There we go. So this camera makes things look big. This camera makes things look small. See, so we're using lens one. And look at how close my hand, look how big my hand is. And this is lens two. Look at how far my hand is. Here's the camera. Here's my recording on. Studio light one, studio light two. It, all the equipment, everything looks so cool and amazing. But this is the farther out lens. So we're going to back out here. Here's the whole studio, actually. It looks amazing. But if we use this lens, this lens is way closer. You can see it doesn't get as much in, but it's actually good for closer photos. Like, if you're taking a photo of this, the stabilization on this thing is okay. This thing has very good, this thing even has slow motion. Better than Apple, I believe. Um, you can see things in slow motion. I will show you in stuff in slow motion. I'm going to show you some clips in slow motion. But yeah, look at this nice. It looks, everything looks so cool with this camera. And also, I heard the audio is good too. So, guys, comment down below. What has better audio? The phone? The, this, this phone? This camera? Or, nah, I guess, eh, whatever. Just So, what's better? This phone audio or the camera audio? So, tell me which one's better. But yeah, like, look at... These nice colors, like the shades and everything sharp. And if I use this lens, come on, there you go. Am I using it? I can just zoom out. There you go. And if I use this lens, everything looks so far, but everything looks cool. Look at these the lights and everything. It picks up colors great, but I hope it's actually gonna. Afraid it's a little too pixely though. So I hope you like the audio. I'm gonna do some slow motion footage because this thing is. Pretty good slow motion. So I don't know what camera I'm gonna use. Overall, this phone's great. It's fast charging, the best camera ever. I hope I hope the audio's good. Please comment if this the camera audio's good, the one right now, or if the phone audio's good. So comment that down below. I'll always reply like usual. Uh, it's my favorite phone. Good webcam. Love the second screen. Can't even notice it's there big wide thing but it does amazing things fingerprint sensor for you guys who like that and things like two cameras one close one far away for people who like taking lots of pictures it has sensors and it even has two flashlights for people who live in dark environments and this is not to disappoint this will not disappoint you if you get this you're me awesome in fact you can show this off to your friends so I do recommend this phone for anyone who likes like battery life like me. See, because this extra screen up here is actually separate than this screen, so you don't so you don't waste battery life. See, so you know time, battery, date. It's the last day of March. Um, so you always know what time it is. Without wasting your power, when a notification pops up, it'll pop up right here. Look, there's even media controls. And when your phone is on, it pops up some useful things. And you're going to love this phone. Like anyone who likes every feature about it. And I think it has a switchable battery too. So I hope you enjoy this review on the little LG phone. It's amazing. So yeah, get it. Go to Verizon or something. Hope you like the review. Slow motion video straight out of the box. No editing or anything required. Uh, it's not too bad, but it's better than Apple, so. Huh. I hope you like the video. Subscribe for more videos and like for more reviews if I can do any. And uh, comment down below, of course, I always reply. Please tell me which audio is better this audio or this audio? The camera audio or this camera audio? So yeah, I hope you liked the video, and enjoy, and this will take a lot of editing.